Hello and welcome to your R&B show here at Aired Out. I'm Abby McGoran, here's what's coming up. Tupac documentary back on track. Yellow Wolf defends his logo. R. Kelly ready for Black Panties release. And more, so stay tuned. Oh uh, yeah. I get around. Still clown with the underground when we come around. Let's start the show with the news that the long-awaited biopic of Tupac Shakur will begin filming next year. Yes, the film's producers and financiers Morgan Creek and Emmett Fuller Oasis Films have announced their plans to begin principal photography on the picture next spring. Now, back in 2011, when filming was originally due to start, a lengthy legal battle between Morgan Creek and Tupac's mother, Afini Shakur, delayed proceedings. The film company sued Shakur when she continued to wrestle with artistic control over the film. Shakur countersued and an out-of-court settlement was reached, with Afini being taken on as an executive producer on the film. As of yet, the film only has a script. There's no director listed or cast in place for the movie, so the producer Producers have got their work cut out for them over the upcoming months. Should Tupac be played by an established actor or maybe an unknown? Let us know your casting expectations at Air Fight with two eyes. Let them hoes know. Now you can tell from my everyday fits. I ain't rich, so cease and desist with them tricks. I'm just another black man caught up in the mix. Trying to make a dollar out of 15 Coast legend to the East now, and you may have seen the movie Notorious, but a real life documentary has appeared online which follows the rapper in 1995. The film follows Biggie as he meets with his prodigies, Junior Mafia, and travels around Brooklyn and performs in LA in front of a warm West Coast crowd. Brief glimpses of his routine are punctuated with glimpses of his relationship with his mother and Faith Evans, Lil Kim, and Sean Puffy Coops. The late rapper offers first-hand insight into his life of crime, music and celebrity status, although Ms Wallace calling Christopher out for the lyric, wonder why Christmas missed us, is definitely a highlight. Maybe it wasn't as bad as Biggie wanted us to believe. While rappers' biopics like Notorious and the upcoming Tupac documentary are of a big merit to hip-hop culture, documentary and real-life footage are more pertinent. This 15-minute piece is not to be missed by any B.I.G. fan. The life and times of the rapper are still shrouded in legend, and footage of the man who was shot and killed in L.A. in 97 is relatively scarce. Straight up, honey, really, I'm asking. Most of these fellas think they be macking, but they be acting. Who they attracting with that line? What's your name? What's your sign? Soon as he buy that wine, I just creep up from behind and ask you what your interests are. Who you be? Yellow Wolf was angry in August, he was angry with Macklemore and he's made sure to let him know. The Alabama rapper shed some light this month on a confrontation with Seattle's Macklemore that occurred during the music festival in Montreal, Canada. At the festival, a fan asked Yella for a photo and the t-shirt she was wearing has caused quite a stir. He explained, I turned and I looked and it was a Macklemore shirt, but it was my Buckhead logo, pretty much. Just effing infuriated me. He compared it to somebody using the Wu-Tang W and detailed the confrontation with Macklemore that followed the revelation. Macklemore was apparently cordial and revealed that the T was about six years old. Following the incident, Yellow Wolf shared a picture of the shirt and asked his fans to call out anyone wearing it. He said, in a sea of about 20,000 plus people, this fan walked up to me yesterday and asked me for a photo. I saw the Buck logo, but didn't remember making the shirt. I took the photo, then said, let me see that shirt, get the buck out of here. Well, it seems the situation is pretty much cleared up as the boys can get back to doing what it is they do best, rap and of course, selling merchandise. Still don't give up, don't know what to say after that first verse, I mean like 
damn, I just killed it. What the f am I supposed to do with this cow? I done already milked it. Smoking all the cigarette unfiltered. They call of anything that I'm feeling. That it broke me down so many times before. Moving on, R. Kelly is in promotion mode and has declared his new LP due out in December, Black Panties, is an ode to public sex and strip clubs. The R&B star is fresh off an appearance with electro-French rock band Phoenix on their track Trying To Be Cool and the high-profile collaboration with Lady Gaga, Do What You Want. Yes, R. Kelly is in the limelight right now and the singer is also gearing up to jump on a Bruno Mars remix alongside Pharrell. Life's good for Robert Sylvester Kelly. His latest project is set to feature Ludacris on the Michael Jackson inspired track Legs Shaking and Two Chains on My Story, a song about money, cars and bad chicks which the pair have also shot a viral video for. Expect the album to sound like sex in public, whatever that means. Kelly's favourite track is the aptly titled Effing With The Lights On, so expect the album to also sound like sex in a well-lit room as well. Stay classy, Mr Kelly, and keep doing what you're doing, because people are loving it and love to make love to it. She's 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 Turned out to be the biggest lie of all time And she changed my weather, yeah. <laughs> To finish off today's show, we're going to talk about New Orleans' Mary Gold. The singer has just appeared at the end of Drake's epic 10 minute video for Worst Behaviour and is a self professed nudist. Suffice to say, she's a bit of a hot topic at the moment. The singer has recently signed to Currency's Jet Life Records and is gaining attention through her atmospheric musical releases and X-rated visuals. Currency said of the star in the making, I can't describe Mary Gold to you, I have to show you Mary Gold. We aren't going to describe her to you either, but basically she's released a mixtape called Sex Hormone to Druggy. She's got an R-rated video for Prayer Out and she's being hotly tipped as hip hop's next eccentric, sexy lady obsession. According to Vibe, MIA is her favourite artist, she's a gamer, she has a crush on Kid Cudi, idolises the late Amy Winehouse, likes to draw and takes photos and reads books on conspiracy theories. You'll certainly hear more about this one in the future. If you're God, then I'm Mary. Hopefully I don't die. Hopefully I don't die. And that was your R&B and hip hop show here at Aired Out. If you do have any comments of any of the stories that we've just gone through, do sign up for free on our website, airfi.com. Right now though, you've got 15 minutes of R&B and hip hop music videos. I've been Abby McGoran, we'll see you soon.